Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Baseball. Head coach JRTs presented by your local Southern Quality Ford dealers, Champagne Beverage, and also Benny's Place right here in downtown Hammond. Each and every week we talk about the success the Lion Baseball program has on the field. Well, they also do a pretty good job off the field. As this week, two Southeastern Lion Baseball players were named some pretty good academic recognition. Let's check out the story. Lions baseball coach J.R. Teagues is very proud of his seven straight 30 win seasons, as well as earning a berth in the Southland Conference Tournament for seven straight years in a row. But while coach R. Teagues is pleased with the play on the field, he is even more pleased with the team's work in the classroom. For 10 straight semesters, the Lions have posted a 3.0 GPA or better. Um, from what I can see, I guess lefties are just smarter than everybody else on the team. Um, uh, it's, I'm very proud of Buck, too, for getting that award uh, for continuing his education. Um, you know, it's just a big honor for everybody, especially the program. It's a big recognition that we not only work hard on the field, but also in the classroom. Well, I know we have a good uh, streak going of 3.0 GPAs for, I, I think it's 10 or 11 semesters in a row now. And I'm confident this semester is not going to be any different. And I'm proud of Hemel for what he's done this year. I think it's his second time being on this team. And that's an honor for a Southeastern students to be on there. Leading the way for the team in the classroom is two senior left-handed pitchers. Buck Bernard and Jordan Hemel. Bernard maintains a 4.0 grade point average while majoring in general studies and was just recently awarded the F.L. McDonald Postgraduate Scholarship. Bernard was one of only two Southland Conference athletes to be awarded the scholarship as the honor goes out each year to one male and one female student athlete. Uh, Coach Reiser called me into his office probably three or four days ago and told me, actually the way he said it was, apparently you won some McDonald's scholarship. <laughs> I was like, yeah, um, Miss Mary Catherine helped me apply for it and I'm going to use that to continue my academic career on a Southern Miss. The $2,500 scholarship must be applied to graduate study at an institution of the recipient's choice and the Petal Mississippi native is going to return back to his home state to use the scholarship. I know all my friends and family are back home and I've been away for four years now and I know I missed them a lot and getting back together with them is going to be a big deal for me. I've loved my time at Southeastern and Pearl River Community College, but I think it's time for me to go back home to Mississippi. For the second consecutive season, senior Jordan Hemel has been named to the Capital One Academic All-District Baseball Team. Hemel is one of only 12 in District 6 to be named to the list. My grades have always been a big part of my college career. Uh, I really work hard in the classroom. and yeah, It's a great feeling, especially to get it two years in a row. Hemel has a 3.84 in business administration at Southeastern. This season, the left-hander from Gramercy, Louisiana, has compiled a 5-3 record and a 3.94 ERA over 11 starts. He threw the fifth no-hitter in school history March 3rd against Texas Southern. And once this season comes to an end, Hemel knows what he is going to do with the rest of his life. I'm going to try to get in the workforce. I uh, actually got a couple job interviews lined up. I've been interviewing, you know. You know I'm really trying to focus on the season right now, and, but I always got to be prepared for the future. Congratulations to Buck Bernard and Jordan Hemel for getting it done on the field and in the classroom. Earlier in the program, we talked about seven consecutive seasons of 30-plus wins, but I think uh, you're just as proud of the, the classroom accolades that your club has. Ten consecutive semesters with a 3.0 grade point average, and these two guys have led by example, Buck Bernard and jo Jordan Hamel. I tell you, getting ten straight semesters with a 3.0, that might be hard, a lot harder than getting seven straight 30-plus wins. The job our guys do in the classroom is unbelievable. We have 75% of our roster has a 3.0 GPA. Buck Bernard and Jordan Hemel are leading the way. I mean, these kids with 4.0 GPAs doing a great job. All the awards they're getting academically, they are what student athletes is, is it all about. Now we're going to take a look at another Lion profile this week as your Southeastern golf team were your Southland Conference champions. Let's hear the story. The season that got off to a rough start in the fall before gaining steam in the spring paid off with the Southeastern Louisiana golf team as the Lions pulled away from a two-shot lead and claimed the 2013 Southland Conference Championship at Stonebridge Ranch Country Club in McKinney, Texas. We had four guys in the top six this week. I mean, any time that happens, you're going to win a golf tournament. Um, and we've had a great spring. We've had two other wins. We've had a bunch of top fives. Southeastern, which carded a team score of even par 288 in the final round, finished at 893 for the 54-hole event, 13 strokes ahead of Central Arkansas, and claimed the league's automatic berth to the NCAA Regionals. The Lions, who earned their fourth Southland Conference title since 1998, will make their seventh overall appearance in the NCAA Regionals and the fifth time since 2007. The win by the Lions was culminated by the play of Reeves West, 
who fired a one under par 71 and erased a one stroke deficit in the final three holes to post a two shot victory. In the beginning I just, I just played my game. Uh, I started off very slowly, uh, three putt on two, three putt on three uh, after being just short of the green for two. I mean, yeah, I mean th those are two silly mistakes. And then, uh, then I turned it around and made four birdies, four birdies in a row. And then, uh, yeah, I just, just, just worked hard from then on. Freshman Eamon Bradley carded a final round of even par 72 to finish third overall at 225. You know, first round, I, I didn't feel as though I played too badly, actually. I, you know, I had a rough final few holes where my swing sort of left me. And, um, you know, I, didn't, I wasn't down after the first round, even though it was a very bad score. Um, you know, I was fully confident in my own ability. You know, I have to thank Reese who, you know, gave me a putting lesson on the on the Monday night. Um, gave me some tips um, for the first time, and uh, you know, it paid off. You know, I played really well yesterday, and today was probably some of the best golf I've ever played. You know, you know, I shot 72. Freshman Nico Indrathal and Hammond's Grady Brain each finished tied for sixth at 227 after posting a 72 and a one over 73 respectively. Baptiste Cordichon, who helped the Lions on Monday with a 4 over 76, posted a 79 in the final round to finish tied for 21st at 237. And with all the pressure that was put on his young team to perform, Coach Tim Baldwin was very pleased with the effort that punched the Lions' ticket to a fourth straight regional appearance. This is four consecutive years for us going to the regional championships. Um, I couldn't be more prouder. I mean, we, we had a real tough fall. You know, Reese was out the first two events in the fall with a bad back. Didn't know when we were going to get him back. And then uh, just kind of limped through the fall. I think we were ranked 120th or something in the, in the fall season. So we really gained momentum. We worked hard. And, and he just took advantage of our opportunities. And, and in the end, uh, I think the best team won. Regional play is set for May 16th through 18th. And the NCAA will announce the field on May 6th. To find out more about where the Lions will be headed to, visit lionsports.net and click on the golf link. Well, Coach, a few weeks ago we, we took a look at the, uh, the tennis program as they were the Southland Conference champions, and now the golf program is winning breeds success, and congratulations to Coach Baldwin. Absolutely. Tim does a great job, one of the best golf coaches in the country. Our guys going down and playing a region in Baton Rouge, really tip your hat to Tim Baldwin and the golf crew. They did a fantastic job. All right, now Tom, take a look at our tip of the week with Coach Jay Ortiz. Hi, welcome to this week's Tip of the Week. This week you demonstrate catching a pop-up going in foul territory by an infielder. To help demonstrate that, we have junior infielder Jesse Burak. You see Jesse sprint over to catch the ball near the wall. Ball goes up, finds the wall, makes the catch. As this week's Tip of the Week. Here's a guy in, in Jesse Burak who's been playing great at that hot corner for third base. and. And Coach, on our tip of the week here, we see him finding the ball, being able to find the wall and make that catch in foul territory. Jesse Burat from Dutchtown High School does a great job demonstrating finding the wall, catching the ball coming forward, does a great job finding that wall first to make sure you're safe. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the Southland Conference standings and the scouting report this weekend for a huge Southland Conference series against Sam Houston State. Right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with Head Coach JRT, presented by your local Southern Quality Ford dealers, Champagne Beverage, and also Benny's Place here in downtown Hammond. Stay with us. <laughs> 